Hello, this is Mark Warren, and I am back with another vision restoration video. It's been a while since my last video, but my family dynamic has changed and prevented me from making videos for a while. Now that things have settled down, I'm back and I'm still making progress, which I'm going to talk about later. In this video, I want to talk about finding your own vision restoration truth. I've had several comments and emails talking about what this person said about me and my stuff doesn't work and so on. And here's what I have to say about that. I encourage you to not just take the face value of anything that any one person is saying about vision restoration. That's including myself, other people that are on YouTube talking about vision restoration, as well as your own optometrists and friends. Do your own research, your own experimentation, and listen to what your body is telling you. I think the more important thing is the last part of what I just said is listen to what your body is telling you because that's what I did and it helped allow me to be where I am today. I'm going to tell you about how I found my own truth. I started off my vision restoration journey in November of 2018 by learning about the Bates method and I didn't really understand it at the time. I got a little progress, but I later found out about print pushing and active focusing in which I did get some initial improvements and reduced my prescription a few times using these methods, but I also stopped wearing my glasses as much when I didn't really need them. It was around January or February of 2019 when I was standing outside looking at an old license plate that I had put up on the fence across the yard when I got my first flash of crystal clear clarity. I wasn't wearing any glasses at all. I was supposed to be wearing negative five in my left eye with a negative one correction for astigmatism, 80 degree access, and then my right eye was supposed to be negative four. But here I was seeing perfectly clear for a few seconds. At first I thought I imagined it, but when I got it to happen again, this made me question everything I had previously heard about vision restoration. This is when I really started to listen to my body. That's when I started to find my own truth. As I reread stuff on the baits and active focusing and print pushing, I was realizing that they had many similarities, yet it was often said that each other's methods don't work. I encourage you when you get a chance to find a copy of Bates' book on the internet called Perfect Vision Without Glasses and read just the introduction called The Fundamental Principle. Then go do some research and find a definition for finding active focus. You may be surprised, but they are very much alike in the approach. Now, the clear flashes that I was getting aren't really explained very well from anything I've read or seen on the internet. As I was starting to experience them more often and for longer periods of time, I started concentrating on holding the clear flashes. I realized if I taught myself how to get the clear flashes, I can teach myself to hold it longer. At that point, I didn't know exactly how I was getting them, but I kept trying to get them over and over again. That led me to another question of why is it that there are millions of people who do close up all the time but don't wear glasses? People like my brother and sister-in-law, what are they seeing or doing differently than me? They are the only ones in our immediate family that don't wear glasses, but it was obvious to me that they see more than we myopes do. That is when I realized how important the peripheral field of view was and that we need to get into the habit of seeing it all the time. Around June July of 2019, from my own truth, I realized tunnel vision is the true cause of myopia and when you stop using your entire field of view, the central vision fails. That was my theory and truth I discovered. The more I became aware of my peripheral and turning it into habit, seeing it all the time, the better my central vision was able to hold on to clarity. My truth came from experimentation and being in tune and realizing what was happening in my body when something happened like those long moments of clarity. I didn't just believe one person or the other, especially after being able to repeat the results consistently over and over again. 
but where's my science and am I just making stuff up? Well, I'm going to tell you about two studies I've come across. Links are in the description. The first involved a study in which they induced myopia in monkeys by putting blinders on one group so they could only see through a tunnel and the other group didn't have any visual restrictions. The group with the blinders developed myopia. If tunnel vision causes elongation, couldn't we say using the entire field of view could reverse it? The other study involved 3D simulations to relieve ciliary body tension. After 30 minutes of playing a handheld video game, the test subjects then put on 3D goggles and were shown six scenes of near and far central objects that were surrounded by peripheral objects that were moving. After the exposure, there was improvement in the uncorrected far visual acuity. So by looking at objects near and far in a three-dimensional field, it improved visual acuity in these myopes. With my truth, I had already learned by not tunnel visioning and noticing everything in my visual field, I see more three-dimensionally. Before, everything looked very flat to me, and now I see more depth in all objects at the same time and sharpness in my central vision. At first, it's not easy trying to see everything at once. This is why I say start by trying to see movement between two objects as you move. After some time, you'll start noticing movement between more than two objects at a time, and this will open up your peripheral vision. Once you get into the habit of seeing more than one object at once, it becomes more natural to see that way all the time. This, for me, equals faster correction. I can now see and recognize objects in a 180 degree field of view, provided there's enough light. I don't have to look at them directly with my central vision to see what they are and clearly identify them. People misunderstand that I say only use the peripheral vision to correct your vision. And it's not just about the peripheral vision, it's about reprogramming your brain to see everything at the same time. When you see everything at the same time, it makes it easy to focus on the things you are looking at centrally. Many people may have only watched the one video I put out on triangulation or heard word of mouth from other people, but I expanded on the triangulation and said it's more than that in the other videos. It's about noticing movement between objects, learning to relax and relieve tension in the ciliary muscle, as well as use the peripheral vision. If you can teach yourself to do all of these things at the same time, you'll be surprised how much the world will come into focus without you even trying to make it happen. It just does. So here's my vision update. During the daytime, I can now keep my vision clear anytime I'm moving. I'm now getting crystal clear clarity at night and in low light situations. It's almost as easy to achieve as in the daytime. I still have to consciously think about it, but it's easier to hold when I do. My double vision is still stabilizing the more I continue to do the techniques that I've mentioned in my previous videos. People have said I have blur adaptation, but it's not. I sometimes have a double ghosted vision in my right eye and sometimes it's triple in my left eye. When they are seen with both eyes at the same time, it can look like there's one definitive clear image, but ghosted sub images around it. It kind of looks like this. They never stay in the same spot and the ghosted images make it hard to read fine text. This is how my vision looks when I don't have perfect clarity, but as I continue to do my techniques that I'm forming into habits, they align perfectly for periods of time. This happens all throughout the day and it gets easier aligning the images each day. I can continue to get my eyes to release the ciliary tension when I want and I can now blink freely without holding my eyes open as long as I used to. I still sometimes get the stinging, but I can blink freely now. Am I perfectly 2020 all the time yet? No, and I no longer care about it. I'm not rushing for any DMV tests or optometrist confirmation. I will eventually do those things, but I care more about establishing good habits, and I know the 2020 will become permanent in due time. 
Getting to permanent 2020 is my end goal, but that's not my mission. My mission is to retrain my brain and eyes to see everything so it does it naturally all the time without me even having to concentrate on it. What I'm doing is working, and because of that, I can keep my vision fairly clear most of the time, even if it's not crystal clear. At some time in my life, I forgot how to see, and I found a way to reteach myself how to interpret things with crystal clear clarity. This is why I say myopia is mental. I took many parts of many vision restoration techniques and came up with my own truth. I refined many pieces that weren't clear or weren't needed and made what I do repeatable with consistent results. Not one time have I ever had a period where my progress has stalled. I still see little bits of improvement each week. I may have had a bad day here and there, but overall I have still had positive results since this summer. What I'm doing is working for me and others are discovering that too. One of the things that I've been truly ecstatic about is now I can read my scripts for my videos off a teleprompter. So my camera is about eight feet across the room and I'm reading this off of a teleprompter right now as I speak. I'm going to be making some changes to my website. I'm in the process of putting together a basic guide which includes all the information I've had in my videos here on YouTube in an organized fashion telling you exactly how I did the things for my journey. These basics are the foundation that I use for everything I do as a habit on a daily basis. I'm also going to put together an advanced guide that takes the basics that I've already talked about in my videos on my website to the next level. I've discovered even more in the past few months that has really helped me accelerate my daily progress. I will also be putting a forum and voice chat in the advanced guide for those who are truly serious about their vision. It won't be free, but it won't cost an arm and a leg either. I'm doing this for a few reasons. I put over 10 hours a week into documenting and writing about my progress, especially things that work. This takes a lot of my time. There's a wealth of information to help anyone who's truly serious about fixing their vision. This will help support further information on the website, keeping the site running, as well as helping support my family, because my family comes first. Secondly, this is for those who are truly serious about knowing what I've done and how they can incorporate those changes in their own lives to restore their vision. I've already had people who've commented and contacted me and said that they gave up. If you've given up just after a few weeks of the basics, then you weren't serious to begin with. I've been at this for just over a year and most of my progress has been within the last six months. I'm putting the advanced information out there for those who truly want this. Finally, I want to say thank you everyone for the support with the positive comments and sharing your progress. I especially want to thank those who have already donated to my website. When I have the new guides ready for those of you who have already donated to my site, I'm already going to give you access to the advanced guides for helping me out. I always give back to those who have helped me. So that's my update. I'm wishing everyone 2020 in 2020, but just know if you truly want to accomplish anything in life, you have to work at it. This is Mark Warren, and we'll catch you on the next one.